Hi, this is Mark. And this is Christine. And this will be the first shooting to scroller tutorial. This game is about a plane that faces enemy planes on the open ocean. You have to navigate around enemies and you can defeat them with attacks. The first tutorial will have a plane moving around on an ocean background. Let's show the game. So there's a plane that can move right, left, up, down, and diagonal as well. The background looks like ocean. Perfect, we can unbold that from our task list. It's a new game, so let's start a blank game maker file. Start by creating the plane sprite. You can do it the same way you created sprites in the maze game. Right click on sprite and choose create sprite. Name it SPR underscore plane. Using the same name conventions as the maze game is a good idea. Now click load sprite and find the plane picture. Choose it and click open. Now for this game we're going to keep the precise collision checking box checked. Why? The plane's a little bit smaller than the box around it and we want an accurate collision when facing enemy bullets. That's important. Now we've made the sprite so we can unbold that from our list. Next, just like the maze game, we need to make an object so our plane can do something. Right click on object and choose create object. Name it obj underscore plane. Make it look like the plane by connecting it to the sprite. Now we want to make our plane move. Just like the bear, we want our plane to move by using the keyboard. Click add event, keyboard, and let's start with the left direction. We don't want our plane to move in the same way it did with the bear. If we drag the red arrow icon again, it won't be able to move diagonally. We want that cool feature in our game, so we're going to do something a little different. Use the jump to position icon instead. Drag it in. Now we can move our plane in X and Y directions. Remember X is left and right and Y is up and down. So to move the plane to the left, we should change the X value. I like a speed of 8, so I'm going to type negative 8 into the direction. This alone will move the plane to the left edge of the screen when you press the left key. We want our plane to instead to move toward the left part of the screen, so check relative. Now we need to do our other directions. Add event, keyboard, right. Drag the jump icon. Again, we're moving in the x direction, except this time in the positive direction, so type in 8 for x and check relative. Now up and down. Add event, Keyboard, up, jump. Remember for Y, positive is down and negative is up. So to move up, type negative 8 in the Y direction. Check relative. For the last direction, add event, keyboard, down. Drag, jump to position. Choose 8 for the Y value. Don't forget to check the relative box. Then click OK. We've created our plane object and made it move so we can unbold those tasks. Let's run the game and see if our hard work has paid off. Uh, don't forget the plane has to be in a room to show up on the screen. Create a new room just like we did in the maze game. Put the plane anywhere in the room and click the checkbox. Now run the game. I can press up, down, left, and right. It moves in all those directions, and it even moves in a diagonal when I hold down two keys at once. It works great, but the great background is kind of boring. Let's change that. The plane will look good on top of a long stretch of ocean. For this, we're not going to use a sprite, but a background instead. Go to Background, right-click, and choose Create Background. A background is similar to a sprite. You can see that we can load an image and name it in the same way. The only difference is that it has no object. It's just a plain image that will be used by GameMaker. Name it BG underscore Ocean. BG stands for background like SPR stands for sprite and OBJ stands for object. Now click load background and find the blue ocean tile. Click OK and we've created our ocean tile and can unbold that from the list. Now we want this to show up in the room. Go back to the room. There is a tab called Backgrounds. Where you see the word no background, we can click on the icon next to it and choose a background. Choose the ocean tile. Everything is now blue and GameMaker automatically tiles it for us. This should look a lot better than plain gray. 
We've tiled the background in the room and can unbold that from the list. Let's run the game and see the results. I see a nice looking background. Everything's accomplished in the first tutorial. Remember to always save your work and ask your teachers if you have any questions. We'll see you in the next tutorial.